Welcome to Nook Tutorials. Um, today we are going to discuss about um, renewing the Indian passport in US using Tatkal. So recently I have uh, renewed my own passport, um, uh, Indian passport in Tatkal. Um, so this is August month 2018. August 13th 2018 so the process is current as of now this is this is the process so I have um, pasted the URL um, what is the process to apply in Tatkal so I'll open that so as the page is loading the first step um, the requirement so the page just opened up so if you see for Washington DC this is the Tatkal process for San Francisco area different Tatkal I mean uh, San Francisco area different um, different processes there I mean most of the process is same except that address is different um, email address and addresses are different that's the reason they have put different sections for each uh, for each jurisdiction so um, from New York standpoint I have applied um, but most most of the process are same wherever you live but you have to choose the appropriate section um, so the first step is you need to send the email um, to appropriate email address based on where you live and get the approval so let me show what email I sent and what the flow I got. So this is the approval email. I blanked out all the things which are confidential. But um, these are the things how I sent it with bullet points. Name of applicant, passport number, email ID, contact number, reason doc, reason scanning for opting Tatkal service and attachments so the attachments mainly what you have to do is um, it, it is given here in the website but whatever is copy and first page last page of passport valid US visa valid address proof if you are New York jurisdiction these are the things listed but if you go into the Washington DC it's listed more clearly what needs to be there so if you are in any jurisdiction apart from Washington just open this just to get the additional detail from here if you are showing legal status you can get any of these if you are residence proof you can get any of these I use it the driver's license so I sent the email within um, I think I sent it on the weekend 26th by 26th evening I sent it so within two business days I got the response saying that it is approved so that's the first step the after approval is got so you can see in the website itself the second step is passport application has to be filled um, in CKGS site that's the important thing you cannot directly go into the Indian site the first step is you have to go to the CKGS site most of the process you should be able to do I don't want to go through step by step um, but um, I wanted to hit on key points which you will be interested in so the in the CKGS side the number of steps is seven so let's say you fill two seven pages in fact when I say seven steps in the, let's say you fill two steps and you're stuck somewhere you need to get the relative address from India and you can't complete it today itself so you stop the process there your application is not completely gone you can save and temporarily exit it again when you want to go back um, to, the, to the application where you left off all you need to do is you need to put your as soon as you complete your first page the CKGS temporary or web reference number will be given so just you need to keep the web reference number click on submit then it will ask for current passport number you click on continue so all you have to do is come to this page click on this one and then 
put your um, appropriate web reference number and then current passport number and then click on continue you go to your page so um, I will show you this is how I I again blank the confidential when I put that information what I have shown I left it step 2 when I enter the information again I came to step 2 I can fill the um, fill the pages from here on so which is a it's a good thing um, so initially where I has hit the roadblock is I have saved it but when when I went back and typed CKGS site in Google CKGS has several renewals so you can't you you cannot get to your page you have to cut particularly type passport CKGS renewal or you need to come to this page and then put it here um, then you go into the passport where you left off so that's the second step so after sixth step is completed um, in the sixth page they will say go ahead and stop it here ensure you complete the Indian government passport link so you can come back again here complete the Indian passport you get the tracking number from there the tracking number whatever you got here you need to store it or save it somewhere and also download the Indian form that's important one Indian form Indian passport form once you do it on six after six step in CKGS you start the Indian government passport link from here and once you complete this one you download the form the information or the reference number which was generated in Indian passport form need to be included in the seventh step in CKGS so six steps on CKGS then Indian government passport need to be filled the tracking num uh, whatever the tracking number or reference number provided by Indian government passport link has to be saved somewhere and download the form as well what you have completed um, the reference number which you have got on the Indian government passport link have to be used in the CKGS site back uh, in the seventh step so that's a key thing and also I haven't uploaded any of um, the photos in the Indian passport link they, they ask that uh, you can use soft copies of the photos I did not I just opted out um, I, um, I I mean I have heard um, I mean I like going with the hard copy some for some reason I heard somewhere that soft copies uploading had some issues so I went with that and let me show you the Indian passport um, So the Indian passport, um, the passport filled in the Indian site. I should say that way. So let me show you that how it looks. Still coming up. Okay, it came up. So this is how it looks. Um, only first to six, um, you will type it uh, on the site. These are all most of them are straightforward. I don't go through everything, but the remaining you have to fill by hand after taking the um, taking the printout. That's a key thing. So the whatever amount you have spent. Um, in CKGS or what you have paid to the CKGS site has to be entered here that's the key thing um, so I have spent 291 I need to enter all 291 dollars here um, after seventh step um, the key thing here is after seventh step um, you have all the documents from the CKGS you downloaded the Indian government passport link um, um, downloaded the form and after seven step you have all the required downloads from the CKGS so you have the payment uh, payment form as well from the CKGS site um, 
let me show you how the CKGS site looks after you have completed all the all this um, all the seven steps so you should be um, I don't have I can't scroll down because it's a screen print but there are all the documents where you can download and you can see clearly to $91 here so mm -hmm. I use that here to $91 here complete thing you have to keep here online credit card and here you can keep it as NA okay and one more thing I want to share is um, I have gone ahead and in the seven um, in the CKJ site both shipping I have paid on the site um, so I don't have to worry about it so I don't need to enclose an envelope and all that stuff I have paid um, the shipping in the site itself so I got the FedEx shipping label directly printed out from in this list and also I don't need to enclose any envelope CKG site will create um, a FedEx label and they will send it to you it's much easier option that way so coming down the remaining things are straightforward um, this the, the other thing I have seen is immigrant status you need to select if nothing if your passport has ECR stamp or e ECNR stamp it's much easier but if no stamp then select ECNR here you need to have two Indian addresses um, one thing is whenever they ask for address um, address back in India make sure you provide the same address which was in your old passport if you change the address there might be delay that's what I have read in forums I have followed the same thing in fact for me the address did not change but um, just wanted to share that out and the name of address of two relatives friends you have to give the Indian addresses closer to your um, passport address I would say most of the things from 20 to 24 turned out to be no for me if you have um, public service undertaking in India um, most of them is no for me so even 25 is no so here on 26 it says signature thumb impression I went with the signature no don't need thumb impression here 27th I, it's not minor application so I did not fill anything here so 28th completely I can skip because it's not minors one again um, 29 make sure you sign on both the places it's important you cannot sign on one of them sign on both of them that's one thing and this is how it looks once you have completely done your application you can see what stage it is I got my passport back in five days after posting it so one thing I want to clearly mention is when I went to CVS or even other places they have a standard size called Indian passport when you ask for Indian passport they say they are giving you Indian passport um, so I assumed that you know the software is doing the right thing I came back it's not really two by two American passports are two by two but Indian passport doesn't um, I mean previously probably it doesn't require two by two now probably changed CVS software and others give a different dimensions than what passport application is asking so make sure you ask for two by two specifically I ha I got the passports home passport photos home and realized that they are not two by two went back again asked them to generate two by two I got the passport photos for two by two that's an important thing that's all I have to cover on this one if any questions please reply to this video I will rep respond back thank you thanks for watching the tutorials